This AQ! AQ! And the baby's coming out. Fellas, again, focusing yourself. That's what it is. When a man truly been inside the entire time. These are three ways you validate her and you don't even know it. Let's go. One, you watch all of her Instagram and Snapchat stories, bro. You're the first five viewers, bro. What are you doing? Relax. You got to get her thinking like, damn, why isn't he watching my stories? All the other guys that like her, they usually watch her stories. So when you don't do it, she always going to be thinking about you like, what the fuck? Long story short, bro, you stand out. And that's the whole point of the game. Two, all that lovey-dovey affection and shit, bro. For every three times a girl kiss or hug you, bro, you should do it one time. Remember that. Three, every time you initiate contact first, or let's say she texts you, right? You respond so fucking fast, bro. You're validating her. You let her know you're always going to be there, bro. When you're always available for a girl, it turns them off, bro. Subconsciously, they're thinking like, damn, do he get hoes? Follow me for more game. You might never see me again. Women do not give a f about your struggles. They do not give a damn that you're not where you want to be. They do not give a damn if you're not the best option. They don't care. They don't give a f They will pick the best guy for them. I don't know what language you want me to say this in. Women will only pick the best guy for them. What is working right now is that you're either the best option or you don't get anything. Women are so cutthroat that they will rather share the top percent of men than give the regular guys a shot. If there were 10 men on the planet who were high value and the rest of them were bums, all these girls would be the same 10 dudes. This is women one on one. Listen, I was single for the last four years. I went on over 150 first dates. I was so sad about being single that I did my dissertation on romantic love and technology. So I've read a lot of the research here and there's some really interesting insights. Long story short, people are picking and they're happier for picking than for thinking that there's a perfect match out there. So one, 50% of singles in the Match.com study of 2022 found that they fell in love with someone who they initially weren't attracted to. Half of people. And two, studies suggest that even believing in a soulmate or a perfect match sets you up for unhealthy relationship patterns. People who have a perfect match definition of love tend to experience overreactions to conflict. And Man, look, this chick just said she went on 150 first dates. Fellas, imagine what is her body count. That shit is crazy. If a chick goes on 150 dates, dates a body count it is at least over a hundred over a hundred dog she said she said she went on, on over 150 first dates yo shorty you a freak you know what i'm saying that's just your thing over four years that's wild bro <laughs> yo that is wild son that's crazy fam well as, this is why i tell you all the time fam do a background check on these women before y'all wife them up dog if a chick have to go on that much dates that's a red flag she's a freak she just don't want to commit uh to a man she just want to meet different men that's her thing but say that but don't act like you're looking for a relationship this is crazy right here man oh i was today years old when i found out that men are not supposed to chase after women proverbs 31 don't chase after women and lose your strength women like that have destroyed kings when a man hunts you don't ever see a man chasing after a deer. He will let that deer run. He doesn't chase. So another comes. So be it. Men, if you begin dating a woman who is over 27, you reserve the right to exercise your options. Here's why. A woman is born with her value. A man has to earn and work for his value. The peak value of a woman is between 19 and 27. The peak value of a man is between 35 and 55. During 19 to 27, her DMs are flooded. And wherever she goes, men are trying to lock her down, primarily because of her beauty. During 19 and 27, he gets rejected wherever he goes. And women are blocking him, primarily because of his income and his net worth. A woman goes to the gym to amplify her value. A man goes to work for 20 years to gain his value. A woman puts together a shopping cart at Fashion Nova to impress other women with style. A man finances and builds a subdivision to impress other men with growth and wealth. From 19 to 27, the woman enjoys a great amount of sex and hanging with friends at some baller's expense. From 19 to 35, the man gets no sex in his teens. He can't screw in his 20s. And no one wants him because he's broke. The man finally reaches his peak value and is wanted by all women. These two meet 
And she says, no, 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 you need to be monogamous to me. Totally unfair, right? She had all the sex during her peak values, but you can't. Fellas, unless you find a woman in between the ages of 19 and 27, there is no justification for her to demand you to be monogamous. A woman outside of her peak value that's already ran through should be happy you laid eyes on her. See you on the next one. This is three signs you're too feminine. The first way is if you care what other people think. If you care what other people think, you're going to let them talk you out of doing what you really want to do. People hate on you because they can't see themselves doing what you're doing, which means that they beneath you, so why would you care what they think? Number two is if you complain all the time. Complaining don't do nothing but create more problems and show your lack of control in your life. Number three is if you're a people pleaser. You tell people what they want to hear so they can like you. Women see you as a nice guy, so they don't even respect you. People pleasing just mean you put everybody above you, and how you going to be happy doing that? Ladies, I'm telling you right now, the moment you guys go through a breakup, you get hit hard. But the moment a man gets hit with the breakup, I'm telling you right now, we get it 10 times harder. A lot of y'all may not believe it, but I'm telling you right now, ladies, the highest suicide rate in America's majority of them are men. And let me tell you why. The reason why men take it harder is because you are a true love, okay? You, you have our heart. And for us men, it's not easy to find good women, but as soon as we find one, and let's just say you don't want to be with us anymore. We stay quiet. We don't really speak to anybody. We don't even know how to handle a breakup. We don't cry. Sometimes we do. But in all honesty, the saddest thing is they take it to the next level. Us men, we get hit way too hard. We think about you 24 seven. It's like we were obsessed with you because of the fact that you are a true love and we just don't have anybody to talk to about it. We have friends, we have family, but we don't like to open this up. The moment you open up regarding this, we're, we're embarrassed, that's why we don't. So before you start breaking up with people, before you start breaking up with, with a man, just remember that we do get hit harder, ladies. This isn't a joke. You may think it's not true, but I'm telling you right now it is. Go look at all the stats. So please, if you're not ready for a relationship, if you're not ready for true love, if you're gonna leave me, don't be with me. Let me live my life alone. I was happier alone instead of going through a breakup, please. There are two laws. One of them is make others come to you. And the second law is use absence to create honor and respect. And the idea is, if you're always going after the other person, if you're always the pursuer, etc., they start to take you for granted, mm -hmm. right? Sure. You're always the one calling and texting. You're in their face constantly thinking that that's the way to make them love you. You're also creating that there's, they take you for granted. They think you're so familiar that they have you wrapped around your finger a, a little bit. And unconsciously, they lose a bit of respect. They may not say it, but it'll come out in their behavior. And over time, you know, the, the spell of love will kind of diminish. So you want to step back. You want to create some distance, some absence, and you want to make them come to you instead of you going to them. If you make them take a move towards you, then the, the game is reversed. The dynamic is reversed. Now the power is a little bit more on your side. You got to go through their phone and check their relationship constantly because you think they're going to do something. Look, just, just break up. Just let go of it. I'm telling you this out of love because that anxiety, that fixation, that obsession, that availability that you have to put your energy, time, effort, and resources into checking what they're doing, into verifying their behavior is ultimately going to destroy you. When you find something bad, it's going to cause that internal pain. When you don't find something, it's going to cause you to think, hey, maybe they're hiding it. Maybe they're covering it up. It might give you a moment of reprieve and an emotional satisfaction of knowing that there's something not there. But as soon as an hour goes by, a day goes by, a month goes by, you're going to start thinking those same thoughts again. It becomes a habit. It becomes an addiction to check that stuff. So just let go. You get in a relationship with someone because you trust them, not because you need to verify their behavior, their loyalty, and their compatibility with you. This is straight bird activity right here, man. Fellas, man, y'all gotta stop tricking, bro. Look at this dude, grown ass man, fam. Out here tricking, paying a rat a thousand dollars to smash that rat pussy, fam. Y'all dudes be tripping out here, man. And this is what happens when a man don't work on himself. This is what happens when a man don't value himself. The fact that you will pay a thousand dollars to risk your life for some fat pussy is crazy. Fellas, man. 
no matter what you do in life to not get to this point where you valuing a bird pussy that much like you know she a thought you know she a slut you know she just smashed a dude five minutes ago you know all this but you still willing to pay a thousand dollars knowing that if you don't use a rubber that could be a life and if you use a rubber it could pop and that could be a life as well that's what you paid a thousand dollars for y'all dudes gotta stop this tricking shit man tricking just make a man weak and then the bird is laughing at, like i dude come work with me to make one cane 10 minutes she like that's a brag for her and what she failed to understand queen the damage that doing this will do to your body to do to who you really are as a person it's not worth it <laughs> you know what i'm saying and and the thing about life is the deepest scars that we have as human beings are internal. It's not on the outside. Internal is where we hurt the most. The scars that you don't see. The scars that make it hard to go to sleep at night. A chick who's doing a job like this, she probably got to get drugged up just to go to sleep. Because she got to run through so many different bodies so many different energies her mind gotta be fucked up these type of chicks need help bro sad